The summer temperatures of South Florida's real estate market is red hot. Will it stay that way or is a correction perhaps coming? Today we take a look at how several factors could impact the Tri-County housing market. Condos, apartments, single family homes. Demand for every kind of housing in South Florida has been soaring, but some see signs of a shift. Last month, property sales in Miami-Dade, Broward and Palm Beach counties all dropped compared to July of 2020. I see that there's a correction coming and the question is, is it going to be a correction like what we saw in 08 where there's literally a bubble that just deflates or, or is it going to be something that's going to be a bit more gradual? Dr. Ken Johnson, a real estate economist with the FAU College of Business, says we may be at the peak of a current housing cycle, but he believes we are far from the crash of 2006 because demand still outpaces supply. So our inventory shortage is a 15 year problem that we're not going to solve in the next year or two. It's, it's going to take a while to catch up. While there are signs that the interest rates may start to tick up, Johnson doesn't think the increase would be enough to cause a major correction in pricing. We think we're going to have a real estate event and this time will be, we think, more like 1989 where prices will go flat for some number of years and we'll catch back up. Real estate attorney Roy Oppenheim is concerned about a potential increase in foreclosures as lenders lift pandemic prompted moratoriums on mortgages. You have the foreclosure mills, the same folks that, that brought you the foreclosure fraud, you know, 10 years ago, they are ramping back up as we speak. But Johnson says people won't simply walk away from their homes this time around. As in the last year, they might have stopped or, or slowed their mortgage payments but the value of their home has gone up so dramatically, they're not walking on the value of that home, they'll sell it. And as long as Florida remains a tax-friendly place to live for individuals as well as businesses, market experts believe demand to live here will remain strong, especially in Southeast Florida.